So in this video, I'd like to introduce you to the book itself. The planner itself is my own making because I simply could not find anything on the market that suited my needs. I've been using planners for many, many years. And one thing with the, the planners that I've been using is they don't specifically deal with the goals and, and how to get there and how to break it down. They don't keep me um, uh, accountable to myself as, I'm, as much as I'd like and they don't give me enough space to write. And there's usually two different books, one for journaling, one for the planner. So I combine everything in my own book, my own style, and I've been using it for the last almost a year and I found myself much more productive. So that was the goal behind the Pegasus planner itself. Again, it's not just a planner, it's 40 plus pages of journaling at the end, which I'm hoping that more folks start doing because it's really, really helpful. I urge you to try it, use it, and if you're using this for a month, I can almost guarantee you for 95% of us, you're not going to want to do without it. Even if you are digitally oriented, take your main ideas, your main goals and how you're going to get there and your feelings, what you're feeling, what you're thinking about, take that out of your phone. It doesn't belong to anybody else. It belongs only to you. And if it's on your phone, it's, it's not private. And that's just the way it is nowadays. So these, these things are very private and they should remain private. But more importantly, once an idea and goal is put down on paper, that's a contract between you and yourself, black on white, there it is. It's part of the physical world, which makes it that much more real. So you have a goal, you have an idea, you put it down on paper. Now you're that one step closer to getting towards that goal. It might be a very far away reach, but you're one step closer to it. Step by step, day by day. Every day is a victory and you ultimately achieve your goals. The planner itself comes individually wrapped just to protect this textile navy blue cover. It's a hard cover. It's got a bunch of little features that unless you're into bookmaking, you, you probably wouldn't notice, but the French groove right here, the curved edges, 110 GSM paper weight, meaning a very heavy paper of this premium ivory. So the best that the bookmaker offered is what you get with this, with this particular planner. On the spine, you'll notice a Roman numeral one so that next time you order a planner, you get the two because then you have different content inside. So nothing's being repeated. It comes with a pen loop. This pen loop you can either use as a pen loop or you can use it for the lighter. If you decide to order the lighter, I keep the lighter there because of course the leather covers have the pen loop in them integrated. So it comes with two page dividers. One is dark red and one is golden and the idea here is one is for the week and one is for the journal so one is for the planner side one is for the journal now what makes this planner particularly special is that six pages per week are devoted uh, to each week so you have more space in the beginning there is uh, the welcome page who it belongs to with a quote by Taeb Sali this was from season migrations to the north one of my favorite books really excellent book to read uh, how to use this tool, two pages devoted to that, basically what this video is going to be covering in more detail. Because we're in the beginning of the year, it starts with an invitation for you to think about the important dates coming up. What could happen that could require your time, your money, maybe a speech. It's all good to keep that in mind so that nothing catches you off guard. Good things, bad things, weddings and who knows, you know, funeral, we can, you know, we, it's good to think about these things in advance. Do you need to get a suit ready, a black one, a navy one, etc. All that, all that requires a little bit of foresight. So uh, that's the first page. What's coming up in the next six months? What's your North Star? The North Star is a concept of where are you trying to head uh, towards uh, in these next six months? Because this is a six month planner. What's your main purpose? What's your main aim? You need to write it down. You need to really think about it. You're not uh, necessarily going to have this fully detailed quite yet. It's going to evolve. That's the whole point because every week invites you to think about your North Star. So then we have every week begins with meditations on the week to come. What are your main goals? They have to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time bound. What will you do this week? And you have to do it. What will you do and what will you not do? What is one thing that's keeping you away from your goals? Write that down as well and stick to it. And then every week gives you a either a motivational quote or some form of an affirmation or a challenge so that uh, you can learn new things about yourself and just about the world in general 
Uh, in this one in particular, it starts with watch at least one highly rated movie in a language foreign to you, subbed, not dubbed. So in its original language, in its original audio, and write down the main takeaways. So this is uh, something I try to do. I'm a, I'm a huge cinephile and I love foreign cinema. As you can see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are on the right side. Each one has about seven lines devoted to them and you have more space to the left of them to write. Every page begins with a quote, every page. So that's something that's um, really a benefit of this book is that it gives you that many quotes that you can really go through and if something really speaks to you, you can, you can research it. And it, they're from all over, genres and industries and men, women, everything. You can imagine somebody that has something to teach or at least some, somebody that has something to provide for you to think about is in this book. And again, every version is gonna have different quotes. So as you can see, there's a little weight symbol in the beginning of each day. That weight symbol is a concept also known as eat the frog, meaning doing the hardest thing in the day first. What is it that you maybe despise doing, but you know you have to do? For some of us, maybe it's going to the gym or it's walking the dogs even, you know? So do that first, because then everything in the day is gonna be easier after that point. Then at the end of the day, you have a numbers, a blank space to re record a number. This can be, for me, it's my weight. I record my weight. If it's your blood pressure, if it's your sales, if it's the amount of phone calls you made in a day, we all have a number to record at the end of the day. So every day provides you with space to do that. As you can see, the planner, of course, is undated. This allows you to jump in it any time of the year. You're not, uh, you're not losing anything by buying the planner in March because you can just jump right into it. And the second benefit, which is, is arguably more powerful, is that it invites you to be more involved with the planner. You have to go in on a Sunday, the, the, the day before the week begins, and start writing in. What is the date? What do you have to do? You're contemplating on the week ahead. So it really invites you to be more involved with not only the planner, but the week and your life. This is your life over the next six months. You're supposed to really treat it with reverence. So. Uh, you'll never be asking yourself, oh, what is the date again today? You're like, no, you're, you're very involved. So you have three days, the first, first page, then you flip the page and you have Thursday through Sunday. As you can see, it winds down a little bit. The whole purpose of a Saturday, Sunday winding down is so you can wind down. Focus on your hobbies, focus on yourself, focus on your family. Not so much on everything else you needed to do during the week. That's why this is supposed to keep you on track. Do it when it needs doing and uh, don't leave it for later. It also gives you additional space for writing notes, if you're meetings, etc., ideas, whatever comes to mind, you have more space to, to write it. Uh, the difference between these two pages here, the first page, because it is undated, it, it invites you to write the month, so month of whatever. But the second page does not repeat that. It invites you to write the week, week, blank of blank. I found this to be very useful when my wife was pregnant. I was constantly forgetting what week we were in. She was very excited to tell me what was developing with the baby this week, you know, the baby develops fingernails, etc. And I hated the fact that I forgot those things, but a second baby, you tend, you tend, to, tend to do that. So for example, week 28 of 40, or at work, if you work um, at a university with a quarter system or even a semester system, it's important to know what semester you're in, when are finals, week 16, or if it's a quarter system, week 10 of 10. So that's really important. Um, I found that to be a very useful little addition. And then you flip when you're done with the week and it invites you to review the week mentally. Just meditate on the week. So it says this week in review, what you succeeded in, what you faltered in, especially that's important, what you faltered in and what you're grateful for or to this particular week. And then again, there's a weekly affirmation or a challenge. This one talks about jealousy, etc. So, so uh, the following page is now meditating on the week to come. So directly related to the previous page and the week that's coming. Write in all the dates, think about all the important things you got to get done. And also very crucially, one of the challenges. Think of all the ways that uh, maybe your day will not go as planned. That way, if it does happen that way, you're not caught off guard. That's a little stoic exercise that I picked up over the years. So what will you do? What will you not do? And remember, the goals have to be SMART. That's an acronym for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. And then, of course, there's another, another uh, affirmation or challenge. If this one talked about jealousy, this one invites you to think about whom or what you might be jealous of, because this quote says that jealousy is nothing more than desire. So pretty interesting. So, and then it continues, then it just continues that way. 
towards the end, oh, one more very important factor is that at the end, at the bottom of the page here in the footer, very, very dull lettering on purpose is a little logo, a little slogan in Latin that says Memento Mori. That means that remember that you shall die. We all shall one day cease to be, perish. And that's a very stoic concept to remind you that uh, time is fleeting and so is life and make the best of it. Make every day count. And never forget that we are here temporarily. Don't take anything too seriously. And remember that all of life is in constant change. Your good days will end. Your bad days will end. Things are always changing. So embrace that. And that's a constant reminder at the bottom here, but very, very dull. So you never forget that. And then you get through your six months and towards the end of the book, you have about 40 plus pages of pure journaling. Looks like that. Just blank spaces pour your heart out and think about what's um, what's important to you, what's on your what's on your mind at that at that moment in time. This is also why these books are hard covered so they last. Well, one of my main problems with the books that I've been using is they would not last. I'm throwing this around and in my backpack on the motorcycle and the spine will go and it, it'll just be trash after a few months. So not only is it not useful for me for the whole year, it's also not useful for me for the future if I want to go back to it and uh, just revisit some ideas or, or if I need to confirm an important date or an appointment or something to that effect, I can always turn to these books. So the idea they're beautiful and they are sturdy and you put them on your bookshelf and if you need to reference them, here they are. So that's the idea behind the Pegasus Planner itself. Again, this comes with a pen. You can choose between a blue or a gray. And the pen is great because it uh, also has a light at the very bottom because again the idea is stay away from your phone don't keep your phone by your bed in fact one of the challenges asks you not to look at your phone for the first 30 minutes and the last 30 minutes of your day and if you need your light because you remembered an idea or remember something you needed to do to put in your book you have a light in the, in the in the pen so no excuses keep your phone away from you just focus on how your day went kind of unwind just stay away from the screens they're not your your friend especially when you're trying to end your circadian rhythm and go to bed so but of course this book although it's fully self-sufficient and and can work on its own it's best complemented by our leather collection of book covers because it also provides you with this beautiful beautiful collection of items that i use accessories basically that i use every day that keep me sharp let's put it that way and here is my good friend Brandon from Swift Hammer Leather, who's constantly making and improving on our uh, here signature collection. That's actually my very own book. So, but if you're interested in that, take a look at our product page. Uh, each one will have a video on what's so special about that particular product. So take a look and thank you for your attention. I hope uh, I hope you start using the Pegasus Planner because I think it will really help you become your best self in a very short period of time you'll become more disciplined. Discipline is everything. Without discipline, we can't do anything. In the meantime, Nick and Swift, we're out. Cheers.